Can you talk to us a little bit about the uh, S5 Mark II? Yeah, so we got the S5 Mark II here. This is the newest addition to the L-mount system from Panasonic as part of the L-mount alliance. This camera, we're featuring a 24.2 megapixel sensor, full frame, but the biggest thing here is that we finally added phase detect pixels to it. So that means our system now is lightning fast and focused and able to actually take advantage of all of the subject detection modes that we've offered for years in our platform. Things like human detection, face and eye detection, even animal detection are all built into the platform with it. But with each of those you know, kind of modes that are available, it's really designed as a true hybrid camera. So that 24 megapixels is gonna get you, you know, great stills with supported by awesome uh, focusing with the camera. But in the video side of the world, it means now we're capable of doing things like 6K open gate recording. So utilizing the full sensor height and width, it means that we can do things like 6K and 17 by nine, 5.9K and 16 by nine, and even things like 4K 60, 4K 48 frames per second, and even down into 1080, 120 frames per second. All of those modes that I just talked about are awesome. However, if your camera isn't reliable, what good is all of these you know, high frame rates and these awesome codecs that you record in? So we take that kind of point to heart with these cameras. So with the S5 Mark II, we built this with an active cooling solution on it. So what the camera does is it takes cool air in from under the uh, EVF hump here, takes it in, moves it into a heat exchanger, and then exhausts it out the sides of the, uh, the top here. The reason we do that on the S5 Mark II is that we rate our camera for true unlimited recording all the way up to 104 degrees Fahrenheit. That means that no matter what, no matter what the mix of photo and video that I'm doing on a, on a hybrid camera like this, I don't have to worry about it. It's just gonna record when I click the record button and go. We've done this with the GH6, we've done it with an S1H, but on this camera, we made sure to make it an even more elegant design to do it. Um, and yeah, outside of that, you've got amazing photo features at 30 frames per second with electronic shutter. You've got um, Live View Composite is the feature that's gonna be coming down the line for this in a firmware update. And even for those that wanna get into the S5 Mark II, but maybe want a little bit of a step up in video functionality, We've added the ability to add pro, uh, raw video data over HDMI to the S5 Mark II. Now this does come through the SFU2 firmware unlock, so it is a 199 cost in the United States, but the reason behind that is we listen to the feedback of all the users. People have been telling us since day one with all these really high-end video features that we add is that we want a camera that may not have all those video features because I will never use them, quote unquote. So we listen. You want a $2,000 S5 Mark II because you don't want to use all the video features or you may never actually have a need for them? Cool. That's what our X model's for and that's what for unlocking the uh, SFU2 upgrade is for. Speaking about that, we can actually talk about the S5 Mark II X model next. So with the S5 Mark II, we, we have a sister camera with it and that is the S5 Mark II X. The S5 Mark II X will be shipping a little bit later than the S5 Mark II, but it carries all of the same core features that the S5 Mark II was launched with, but really just adds that next level for video in that it does 800 megabits per second all intro recording internally. It'll give you uh, Apple ProRes in 5.8K internal, internally in 1080, and then through a USB SSD that's attached uh, for anything over 1080. We also add that raw over HDMI uh, uh, component free with this camera. It's included with the body. Uh, and then on top of that, we're also adding things like wired and wire, wired and wireless IP streaming for it. So if you're someone who works in a multicam environment, you can use this as your setup for it. But the thing that I think is super cool about it is the look. It's a totally blacked out design. The logo has been blacked out. Uh, both the Lumix logo and the, the S5 Mark II X logo, but then the materials that we use to actually build it, the dials, the mode dial, the shutter release, the command dials, they're all matte black and just a little bit more slick. So this is like such a cool setup 
And the kicker here is that where the S5 Mark II is uh, $19.99 US, the S5 Mark II X is $21.99 US. So it's only a $200 increase to get the S5 Mark II X.